What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. So we do have some news regarding the next update for eFootball 2023. So Konami released this bit of information today. We will be releasing V2.3.2 for eFootball 23 on the 12th of the 1st, which is Thursday, so two days from now. And it says that as a token of our gratitude for your support, all users that have, that have installed the update by the 16th, which will be next Monday, I think, will receive a chance deal. So obviously you're going to get a free legend or a free epic or a chance deal at one of them. Um, and that's basically what they say, right? So there's no patch notes. We usually don't get those until the Thursday uh, where they go into patch notes about what they've tweaked with defense, dribbling, anything like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we go back here, if it's still, okay, it's not there, but if we were to go back um, and look, oh yeah, it's here, about the live update, right? So at the moment, the live update is only for legend, epic, and big time players, right? So if you've got Roberto Carlos or if you've got Patrick Vieira, you will be on B form, right? So as an example here, you will see that Carlos, Up and Meccano, and Maldini, obviously being three legends, are going to be on B form. They're going to be locked on B form all the time. And then the standard version players, Van Dyke, Kimmich, and Donna, they're going to be on C form. So there's been no live update for ages, man, ages. So I think what I think obviously with this coming back, that's going to be a big a big change because, um, well, it's not a big change, but that's kind of what we're measuring things in now at the moment with the live update. Obviously, that coming back. Um, please note that the following players will have their live update rating set to be from the twenty second of the twelfth. So, um. There was no live update from the 22nd until like literally until Thursday. So on Thursday, you're going to have the live update back again. So, for example, you might have Marcus Rashford on an A. You might have players that are in good form on an A. So, yeah, look, I think, lads, at the end of the day, right, I think the biggest issue at the moment for me and, you know, we can see here as well that the festive campaign is going to be over. So there is going to be a new campaign um within that obviously they give you a lot in that you got four free legend players two under coins and about 1.4 million gp as well as 160,000 trainer points right and that stuff is all good and obviously the epics as well you know zico um kaka and roberto carlos i mean this sort of stuff isn't going to isn't going to uh, impress you or it's not going to make you download the game or, or continue to play the game if you're not happy with the core experience but if you are enjoying the core experience and you're just craving a little bit more content i think there's different reasons why people aren't enjoying the game and i think there's different reasons why people are enjoying the game right and this sort of stuff um you know the packs um you know the derby day packs the stuff that they have where you can get packs very easily um you know the festive stuff all these packs are going to be going as well everything's going to be ending in one day as you can see there uh the campaign and all that sort of stuff the match pass is going to be ending as well um so clear that if you want but yeah i mean everything like this is it is it is kind of if you are enjoying the game and you're enjoying the core game then all of this stuff is kind of what you're looking for you're looking for different stuff in the match pass you're looking for different things to play different content like in fairness right since the game has launched they have added a lot of stuff to it to give you a little bit of variety it's just that it, it doesn't seem well thought out i mean such as this one right the under 2100 cup and this is kind of my biggest issue with the game at the moment and the way things are this 121 this under 100 under 2100 international cup is just abused to the high heavens man i mean they just need to kind of go in and say, right, there could be no players over 85. Um, and then that will kind of sort out a lot of the stuff because what people are doing is they're white benching. It's very easy to do it. You literally just buy seven players of, um, you know, the lowest rating in the game, 70 players that are like 50 overall or 51 or two overall, stick them on your bench, stick one or two, maybe, you know, left wing and a center midfielder. And then you can literally have the rest of your proper squad, like in the nineties, you know what I mean? So it just kind of flies in the face of what they're trying to do with that. But I do like these team limit cups and stuff like that. And as I repeat, look, if you're, you know, bummed out with the game, if you're pissed off with the game, you're not liking the direction, um, you know, and you're waiting on co-op, you're waiting on Master League, you're waiting on those sort of new modes to come, edit mode especially, then none of this stuff that they add is going to entice you back, man. That's just the way it is. And that's fine. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, even with the eFootball League, man, that's been something that I really kind of like, it's just, look, the rewards and all that are kind of cool, but 
you can just tell that a lot of people are just playing it now to just play it because there's nothing else there. You know what I mean? If there was some sort of league that you could play um, that was like tied into the match pass in a special way or something, you know, that you could play and you can invite your friends in, you could have matches, you could play co-op, you could, you know, extend this quite a bit. But for now, it's literally just everyone playing, you know, quick counter or long ball counter and trying to score as many goals as possible, you know? Um, so, yeah, look, I don't think we're just going to have a bit of gameplay on in the background here. What am I hoping to see with EVE Football V2.3.2? I mean, it's it's going to be a difficult one. I would like to see a lot of the issues that have crept into the gameplay, I think, since the last update at Christmas time. I would like to see them kind of fixed and eradicated. Um, I feel like the biggest problem at the moment is still the automated defending. It's just very automated. It's very, you know, handholdy. Um, I get that they want to make this game approachable and, you know, feasible for anyone to pick up and play. But I do think that, you know, there needs to be something else defining the skill gap other than just having, you know, 97 rated players like Kaka or 94 rated players like a Messi or free Messi or whoever. I think there needs to be a skill gap there with the stats. Now, if you do a lot of research and you look at a lot of players and, you know, you fill your team with players with fight and spirit or one touch pass or whatever it is you fill your team with you you obviously can give yourself an advantage right but i do think that there still needs to be a little bit more control over what is effectively you know your dream team your club your squad um you know even something as simple as adding new managers for different play styles out wide um i would like to see a, a big change to managers coming you know whether they'll be able to upgrade the managers and stuff um that is something that you could possibly see um but yeah it's just a difficult one man because i think look anyone listen to this video you're going to probably fall into two categories you're going to fall into the ca category that you're playing the game, you're enjoying it, but you know that it's not where it needs to be, and you know that the potential kind of probably is there. Will it ever reach it? You know, that's only the future can tell that. And then there's another section of people that are probably just, you know, curious about any updates or whatever, but are not going to be interested in this series or in this game until something big comes out, whether that's Master League, whether that's um, co-op, whether that's edit mode. And I get both sides of the coin. I think at the moment... If you're not enjoying online gaming, if you're not an online gamer, win at all cost gamer, it's very hard to enjoy eFootball. That's kind of where it's gone, is that everyone is a tryhard, everyone wants to win, everyone wants to beat you 5, 6, 7, nil. Um, you know, and it's it's rare that you come up against a guy that is just going to sit back and have, you know, a very good possession-based gameplay. And that's just from my experience of playing about 200 games um or more is that you know people obviously when they're playing online they want to win man it doesn't matter if you're playing a friendly cup or it doesn't matter if you're playing your friend you always want to win you know no one's going out there to lose that's just gaming but i do think that there needs to be that spot of you know that little corner for the for the creative type of gameplay that you would like to see you know being able to test out new formations but still kind of achieving something with it. Like, whereas at the moment, if you play a friendly match, you're not getting anything on the match pass, you're not getting any XP, um, and you're still going to come up against guys in friendly match where there is literally nothing to play for. You're still going to come up against guys that will play, you know, long ball counter, three center backs, three, three center forwards. Like, it's just, everyone is just kind of playing that way now because that's kind of what works. So, yeah, I still think, look, let's see what happens. We are going to be... Um, having a full breakdown on Thursday. I'm hoping to do a live stream on Thursday. Um, let me know if you guys be interested in that. But yeah, what, what do you want to see, man? I mean, look, I don't think we're going to see... I, I said it before. We're not going to see co-op and we're not going to see Master League. We're not going to see edit mode. I know that that probably goes without saying for people following the channel. But for those that are new, welcome. And sorry to bear, be the bearer of bad news. I would be very, very, very surprised if they added that in. Um... You know, maybe they could add it in a certain kind of way, but I don't think that we're going to see any proper modes um, for a bit. And I think that that kind of sticks out because we haven't had any news on it. We haven't had any breakdown of it. Maybe we will get some news and updates on it. It would be nice to get a new roadmap. Um, but other than that, I think we're just going to get a few packs. We're going to get a load of new events. We're going to have a new uh, campaign, a login campaign, a special campaign and all that. But let me know what you guys want and let me know what you guys think we're going to get. And uh, I will see you back tonight. I will have another video up. Until next time, peace.